James Thomas was wearing one of these, an electronic monitor, when he robbed a man at gunpoint. That was more than a year ago. A judge had ordered Thomas to be tracked after breaking into a home. When people are put on electronic monitoring, um, it's very helpful, not only for their probation officers to know where they are and what they're doing, but also in case they do reoffend. Those are locations where, where he's been. Dean Brummer manages cases like Thomas's. He says GPS tracking is helping police crack crimes committed by previous offenders. We can put a, a date, a time frame in our computer, and we can search to see where that individual was, and it'll tell us exactly to within a couple feet on where that individual was on that date and time. So makes it hard to lie. Exactly. The GPS around Thomas's ankle sent its location back to a server every three minutes. Detectives used it to place Thomas at the scene of the crime. It was good. It really corroborated the other evidence that we had and it really you know, it sealed the deal to show that we had the right guy. GPS tracking is not widely used in the St. Louis area, but Brummer believes that will change. There's no doubt because uh, the jails and prison, they're, they're becoming full and this is a good alternative you know, to incarcerating somebody, it's much cheaper for um, taxpayers. Maggie Crane, News 4. Joe works from 9 to 5. Right. Joe better be leaving the house. Right. We give them.